What's going on guys? Thomas from My Scent CI stopping in today to share a fragrance with you all that I picked up from Burlington. And that fragrance is from the house of Amarin. Here we have Kings and Queens Excellent. If you're interested in this review, stay tuned and we're going to dive right into it after the intro. <music> Alright, welcome back guys. For those that are returning, I appreciate you. For my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. On my channel, we discuss all things fragrance, whether they be fragrances from your online discounters or fragrances from your local rack room stores. Your local rack room stores are Burlington, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or Ross. Because believe it or not guys, you can find great quality fragrances at a good price at these locations. Now guys, this fragrance that I'm about to talk about uh, is the second, maybe the third fragrance from this house uh, that I have. And that fragrance is Kings and Queens Excellence. Now guys, this is a fragrance from the house of Amarin. It's a UAE fragrance house. They've been popping up in uh, Burlington uh, I don't think I came across them in Marshalls or TJ Maxx yet. Mostly Burlington. I have uh, another fragrance called Kings and Queens Blue. And that one is a clone of Blue de Chanel. And I must say guys, they hit it right on the head with the Blue de Chanel clone. Because it smells good. And it smells just like the EDP from Blue de Chanel. But... We're here to talk about excellence. Guys, this is a clone to a discontinued Paco Rabanne Black XSLXs. Now, that's what I came across the internet. I came across uh, two fragrances they say that this is cloning. And the Black XS is one of them. And I found another site that says it's cloning black XSLXs. And that's the discontinued fragrance. But the black XS notes, uh, I don't pick it up in this fragrance, guys. Uh, that one has cocoa. Uh, it's a sweet gourmand type of fragrance. I'm not picking it up in this one. So I believe this is a clone to the black x s l x's guys because let me show you the atomizer on this one amarin ain't playing guys look at that now to open you're going to get the the citrus i pick up the lavender it gives me this aromatic uh gonna pick up a little woodsy but I'm definitely not detecting any cocoa or any cinnamon or nothing to that nature I'm not picking up but I am picking up the lemon tad bits of lavender I think this one has uh Cipro, Cipriol oil in it, I think. I'm picking that up. To me, it kind of, it kind of have like a, some kind of like herbal type smell. But guys, when I say this fragrance right here, this scent, when I first got it and I sprayed it on my hand, I couldn't stop smelling it. It has a alluring type of smell with it where you find yourself constantly smelling it. And the performance on this one is great, guys. I know I got a good, when I wore it, seven plus hours out of this fragrance. Uh, and I could still smell it on my shirt when I got off work later on that day. Uh, so if you come across this, guys, 
Burlington. Now, it's supposed to be like five or six of these. You got one that's tobacco, uh, the elixir, and something else. I think it's five of them. You got the blue, the excellence, the tobacco, the elixir, and I think some called ethos. I think that was in a green bottle. But if you come across a fragrance with this little face on it, I know it looks like a little, oh, corner store fragrance. But guys, don't be fooled by the appearance. I picked this one up at Burlington for $14.99. And it was well worth $14.99. In, in fact, I say it's a steal at that price. Because the quality on this fragrance, guys. And Amarin is a house I don't hear too many people talking about. Uh, but I placed them up there with the Milestone, uh, Cameron, uh, and those other UAE fragrances as well. So, guys, if y'all come across this one, you might want to get this one to try. Uh, if you have this, let me know in the comments, uh, what y'all think it's a clone of. Is it a clone of the Black XS or is it the clone of the Black XS? L X's. I'm really not familiar with either one of those uh, from Paco Rabanne, but it does have this sweet, citrusy, aromatic uh, vibes with this fragrance. And I must say, it's a good one, guys. It's an EDP. So if you come across it, you might want to get us some track, guys. I appreciate y'all checking out the content. Uh, please remember to like, share, and hit that notification bell and that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel, guys. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.